Hi right, guys, we're continuing our interviews leading up to the NHL entry draft, and with us today we have another likely first round pick for this uh, June's NHL entry draft in Montreal. We have a defenseman from the Oshawa Generals, Calvin DeHaan joins us. Calvin, how you doing? I'm great, thanks. How are you doing? I am just dandy. Hey Calvin, uh, you recently got back from the uh, NHL draft combine. Um, you know, I know you were interviewed by a whole uh, bunch of uh, teams there. And they also talk about how bad the physical testing is. But I got to ask you, what was worse, the physical testing or being uh, grilled by all these teams? Uh, personally, I thought the physical, physical testing was definitely harder. Um, I'm pretty good with people. Uh, I don't find it that hard to talk in front of a group of uh, you know, people, especially NHL scouts. I didn't find it any different than talking in front of the classroom, let's say. Um, physical testing for me, definitely harder. And people always talk about, you know, how bad the bike test is. I'm assuming you went through that. How uh, how was the bike test? Uh, very uh, tough. <laughs> um, you know, they, they make us do the uh, Wingate test, which is at 30 seconds, you know, as hard as you can go. Um, and then 15 minutes later, they make you do the VO2 max testing, which is just as tough, but you're already gassed from doing the VO2, or from doing the Wingate, sorry. Um, very tough, though. Definitely the hardest test out of all of them. Well, and I mean, it's one of many uh, tough tests you've had this year, uh, one of which being the World Under-18 Championships. You went to that in uh, Fargo, and I know the place was flooded with scouts. Unfortunately, Canada finished a disappointing fourth place in the tournament. Uh, do you feel like that might have hurt your stock, or are you confident that your play was good enough that you impressed the scouts? I'm confident with my play in that tournament. Um, myself and Dylan Olson, my defense partner in that tournament, uh, had a very strong tournament. Um, and I think a lot of scouts picked up on that. I know our coaches certainly didn't and uh, rewarded us with a lot of ice time in the final uh, couple of games against the Americans and the uh, Finns. One thing you've said from the beginning of the season is that uh, despite your offensive abilities, you need to work a little more uh, on your physicality in your own zone. Uh, do you feel like you made significant progress on that by the season's end? I think so. Um, I felt like I did anyways. I don't know if people were noticing or not. Uh, I definitely felt like I was, though. I thought I was trying to, you know, you know, uh, rub the guy out versus taking the puck more often than not. Uh, I, I personally, I thought I was. Well, and uh, you know, just before the season uh, began, you weren't being grilled quite like this. You weren't exactly in the limelight. Uh, but now, you know, look at you. You, you have guys projecting you to go in the mid to late first round. Uh, with, with all the hype, you know, comes a lot of media exposure, obviously. Uh, do you ever read or watch what people say about you now? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, not It's not like an everyday, like, go to my way to, you know, check this certain chat board on the internet. But, you know, it's interesting to see what people think of you. And, um, you know, it's, some of it's funny. Some of it's a confidence booster in the same time. Because, you know, people uh, sometimes comment on what they like about me. And that's, uh, you know, a, a good comment. Uh, like that from a random person is always a good feels good inside for sure what what's the um the least true thing you've ever read about yourself uh probably my size um i don't know what it is people think i'm small which i'm not i'm taller i'm six feet uh i don't think that's small wow so <laughs> bold statement there by calvin dehan like it it's a little bit of a soft spot now like early on i didn't really care but uh now it's just getting old because all in all, I'm not small. Like, it's, it's, it's a fact. I'm not going to shrink either. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that, that is true. That is true. And I'm, did, did you say that during uh, the interviews? Were people aware you wouldn't shrink? Well, some, some teams asked if they thought I was. And I'm like, well, I'm not the heaviest guy out there, but in, I'm not small. Like, uh, I don't want to sound infuriated right now, but it, it's a little annoying after a while. I, well, in that case, we'll leave it alone. <laughs> that's, that's fine. You can ask more if you want. <laughs> it's fine. Um, I know, uh, you know, spending all this time on the road this season in the OHL, uh, you know, it gets a little boring at times, but uh, I know you're uh, big into video games. Uh, what's your favorite one? <laughs> well, I like to play Call of Duty 5 here and there. Of course, NHL 09, but uh, to tell you the truth, I haven't touched my PlayStation in five months since the season's been over at least. Wow. The thick layer of dust on it right now, not gonna lie, and uh, I'm kind of glad I haven't, but I might might get back into it soon for sure. Uh, now, the only reason I ask this is because I do it all the time. Uh, do you ever make yourself in NHL 09 and give yourself like totally unfair stats? Who doesn't? <laughs> Everyone does. 
<laughs> very, very good answer. But a uh, lot of uh, teams interviewed you at the Draft Combine. We've already established that. And I got to bring you back to the Draft Combine for just one second. Uh, let's pretend I'm a GM. You're still waiting to be drafted. And I say to you, Calvin DeHaan, why do I draft you to my team? Uh, the reason why you should draft me to my team, or to your team, I should say, is uh, because I think my style of play, my style of defense, um, like my mobile puck moving abilities, uh, good first pass, stuff like that, good shot, um, is really going to, it will benefit in the new NHL, you know, with the less clutching and grabbing, the more of a skill game. Um, I'm not the most physical guy out there, and the new NHL is trying to, trying to change that and become more of a skill and speed game. So I think I could definitely benefit in the NHL one day, and that's that's what I would say. And all we have left is uh, the NHL entry draft that starts uh, this June 26th in Montreal. That was Calvin DeHaan from the uh, Oshawa Generals. Calvin, uh, thanks so much for uh, giving us your time, and uh, hopefully you can put those critics to rest, man. Yeah, thank you for having me. This is your Steve Dangle exclusive.